Howdy folks, Matty from Gulf Coast Fit. And I'm here for a sunrise session. Gonna put in some work with the, um, the slam ball. Doing an EMOM, every minute on the minute. Uh, every minute on the minute, I'm gonna do six repetitions um, of six different slam ball variations. And so six every minute doesn't seem like a lot, but this is really for uh, max power in every rep. So six high power repetitions every minute uh, does get very challenging to maintain uh, uh, performance under, you know, doing several reps every minute. So this is going to be an eight minute EMOM. So eight minutes times six reps, we got 48 reps, which as far as developing power goes, um, that's actually a lot of volume. So um, doing six different reps or six different variations to keep myself as fresh as possible because I want to put in some volume I don't want to do like one rep every minute for peak power uh, But I want to be able to bring the power so it's not too much volume, but it's enough to get um, Some umph out of every rep and to work up a little bit of a conditioning effect even though uh, The conditioning side of things is not my primary objective at all that will just happen so You'd be surprised if you do six very powerful reps every minute how it does settle in and it gets pretty tough. So here we go. Eight minute EMOM. So I'm working with a 20 pound slam ball, which is plenty of weight because I want to move it explosively and fast. Not that I couldn't go heavier, I could go lighter, but 20 pounds challenges me to move through the mo movement explosively. And you see how I'm doing a jump slam, a scoop throw, two rainbow slams, a thruster throw, and then I finish with a strict slam where I don't jump. So check out those reps again. Finishing right at about 30 seconds each time. So that's about a one to one work to rest ratio. Um, to recover enough to go aggressive, I wouldn't want any less than 30 seconds. And I put these in order to complement each other. So I'm moving to a fresh movement pattern every single repetition. Pay attention to that. Thirty seconds on the dot. Notice how I'm not speeding through these reps. Taking my time, setting up for each rep. But then when it's go time and I bust the rep out, I'm as explosive as possible. You don't want to rush through this and cut corners. You want every rep to be crisp and uniform.
I like explosive power exercises with the slam ball because it's automatically a very effective core workout, meaning I have to embrace my entire trunk. When it's time to slam or throw the ball, my, my entire trunk midsection has to be rigid and engaged to help transfer power and energy without losing it in the midsection. round five and I can already tell that I'm losing explosivity that's because six reps six aggressive reps of anything every minute you will lose performance but I am going for kind of a blend of conditioning to some degree and power output so I'm trying to kind of have my cake and eat it too My breath is very important, both during the set, in between reps, during a rep, and then as recovery breathing between sets. So this type of EMOM, where I've got a good amount of time to rest between each set, it's a great opportunity to work on recovery breath. If I've got 30 seconds, I wanna take the fewest, deepest recovery breaths possible. I'll shoot for about five in 30 seconds. One more round to go. And the reason this is only eight minutes is because my primary objective here is to be explosive and powerful. So this isn't meant to be a long conditioning workout. If anything, it should ramp up your nervous system, fire you up and make you feel more in tune with what you're doing and give you more energy. It's a neural charge workout, if you will. So that can be a standalone micro session. So remember that that eight minute power imam is for performance. So you don't wanna let fatigue get in the way of how sharp, how accurate you are with each movement pattern and how fast you can move the weight. 20 pounds, I might use 25 pounds in this, but 20 was plenty. If I was going with 10, I would certainly move the ball faster but I might add a couple more reps. So you shouldn't be able to do more than several reps very aggressively every minute if you have the right weight. So try that combination out. Jump slam, scoop throw straight up, rainbow slam over and back, thruster throw, squat and jump and throw it up, and then a strict slam to finish. So give that a go. It can be a standalone micro session. 
by itself, an eight minute quickie, or you can put it into a workout like I am now, and it's the first component of my workout. I already warmed up before that, but now my nervous system is fired up. My fast twitch muscle fibers are engaged and I'm ready to tackle the rest of my training session. Check out this sunrise. That's what it's all about right there. Oh yeah, we're in the office, baby.